Hello everybody and welcome to the third edition of the Weekly Snapshot. I'm your host HD and once again this week we'll be keeping you guys up to date with the esports world. First up, IPL Season 2's main event is fully underway. We've concluded the broadcast for the winner's bracket round one and last week we were broadcasting the loser's bracket games from round one as well. But just because we're broadcasting loser's bracket games doesn't mean the games are any less exciting. If anything, players fighting for their tournament lives is even more exhilarating to watch. And the players fighting aren't chumps either, with competitors such as Rhett and Kiwi Kaki, who lost to Select and Straylock respectively, fighting for survival. This week, I would definitely recommend checking out Game 1 between Nurchio and Kiwi Kaki, which you guys can navigate to by clicking on the video right now. In other StarCraft 2 news, it seems that North American teams and South Korean players are really starting to come together. For example, Korean pro StarCraft team Foyu has become FXO Korea. Choya remains acting manager of Foyu, who has now access to the FXO house in Malaysia. In addition, Complexity has recently partnered with MVP, the Korean team with players such as Don Gu and Genius. Lastly, TSL Puma has left his team in Korea with rumors of evil geniuses looking to pick him up for themselves. This trend can only help to grow and improve the North American players' skill level as they'll be able to train and live with the South Korean pros. If successful, expect to see more North American organizations partnering up with South Korean players. Speaking of teams, IPL has announced that they will be starting their very own IPL2 Team League, and that will be called the IPL Team Arena starting this Tuesday, August the 2nd. The IPL Team Arena will be a winner's league format, similar to the popular GSDL from South Korea. With a twist, IPL Team Arena is a King of the Hill format, where the winning team will stay on to combat the next week's challenger. They also win $500 for each week they remain the king. Furthermore, we will place a $100 bounty on the winner of that week's match. So if a team wins four weeks in a row, a challenger has a chance to capture a total of $900 for that week. $500 for the normal prize and $400 for the bounty. This first week's match will be featuring Evil Geniuses vs. Rain. Make sure to tune in this Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time to catch the action. And don't forget, it will be live. Wrapping things up today, we will be discussing the heavily anticipated Dota 2. It seems there's a rumor going around that Valve has been organizing an eight-team tournament to feature the debut of Dota 2 at Gamescom Cologne this summer. The heavily anticipated Dota 2 is rumored to have a tournament alongside its unveiling at Gamescom Cologne, which runs from August 17th through August 21st. The word is that Valve is organizing it with $80,000 in cash prizes being offered and it will be featuring eight teams. According to the invitational letter posted, Valve will foot the bill for all travel and expenses for the players. Debuting a game with such a massive cash prize pool means that Valve is finally warming up to the esports scene. And that can only mean great things. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of the Weekly Snapshot. I'm your host HD, signing out. <laughs>